This vacuum does some absolutely insane stuff that I have never seen any other Robovac do. And its current price tag is way less than my current champion. So this, is, is this the best Robovac ever made? Uh, let's find out. By the way, almost everything you're about to see has been filmed entirely on the fly. It's still funny. Pascals. Isn't that gigantic? That's right, Paul from the past. It is, in fact, the most powerful Robovac I have ever tried, at 200 Pascals stronger than the most powerful Robovac in my possession. I've seen this thing sucking up steel balls at CES. I mean, I haven't. Uh, I'm not allowed to go to CES. Now, today's video is a sponsored review. Don't, don't you leave. Listen, go and watch some of my previous things. This is part of a review I did for the Dbot X2 Omni, and that was sponsored, and I put this out. I managed to map out the bedroom and the corridor, and it is currently in the bedroom, and knows it's in the bedroom, but for some reason, it's mopping the carpet. Somebody says that. Mopping the carpet. What? They are the cleanest way of mopping your floor, in my opinion. I prefer these over any other thing, and this, if it really is as suctiony as they say, will easily become my new favourite Robovac, because mega suction and good mop pads... Oh my god, it's gorgeous. just established what this is. This is a traditional style dustbin without a dust bag in case you don't want to be buying more dust bags all the time, but the dust bag option is there so that you don't have to get your hands dirty. I just wanted to clarify that, so, because this is quite amazing. It comes with three of these, these are like dust bag style filters, and one of these, which is the old school style of just collect the dust into a thing and then get your hands dirty when you empty it. And the idea is that if you want to not get your hands dirty, you just buy replacement ones of these, and if you're happy to get your hands dirty because you don't like buying these, you have the choice. You can just use the old-fashioned dustbin style. And the really cool thing is that the base unit actually compacts all the dust in these things by doing this, like, mad compression thing. Hair compression starts. What? I have never seen this level of choice in any Robovac, and so yeah, that's really innovative. You can buy these, or you can just use this. So weird. It's like the delivery driver got hungry halfway through his round. Hold the handles on both, lift it up, and then pull it out. <laughs> pull it out. Filth! Uh, yes. <laughs> this is interesting. This, this, uh, this is a, a thing. For this, to just go upside down into. Oh, look! That's got two of these. You don't see that on Robovacs anymore. Like, two of them. Only got two things though, instead of three things, which is also interesting and different. All the way in. Look at that. That's what she said. Sexy. I do like these sexy voice robots. Care to have a little fun? Care to have a little fun? So once I'd finished setting it up, it mapped the downstairs of my house in no time at all, and right at the end of its mapping, it kind of like waited till the end, it sauntered over to my collection of robo. Yes, I have a collection of Robovacs. It sauntered over to my collection of Robovacs, and I thought it was actually going to start some beef. Uh-oh. Oh my god, why would you cheat on me like this? I'll give you the best years of my life! Customers. 
Custom cleaning started. It looks like it washes its mop before every run, which is great. So you'd expect. I still can't get over the look of this thing. Well, so far, that's the best I have ever seen any mop do with these chairs, because these chairs normally confuse the heck out of the robot and make the robot melt them. Don't go over it. What are you, what are you, oh my God. So it seems that it took the decision to mop all the corners of the room and then go back and clean itself, and now it's going to go up in streaks, I guess, until it's cleaned the rest of the room. It's really getting the, the room wet as well, like, soaking wet. This is amazing. The bumpers really are a last resort. It barely bumps anything. It just it, it's seen it with the camera. It knows where the things are and it's avoiding them. That's really impressive. Oh my god, it's right in there. That's what she said. I'm not sure I'd trust it to come back out again ever now. I think that's that's really found its way into a rat's maze now. A few minutes later. Sad music plays. Mm. Oh, what? Heroic music, please. It's done it! It's found its way back out! Holy crap! What? <laughs> Triumphant music, please. You might be heading for trouble. Depending on what it makes of these chairs. Mm-mm. <gasps> I figured it out. It didn't hump the chair. I don't have pets, so there is no pet hair in this house, and there's not that much human hair either. But I've seen this thing at CES do something I have never seen any other Robovac do. This thing has this conical shaped brush. And what it does is it sucks all the pet hair from one end to the other, and it just disappears. Again, this is like innovation beyond... Like, why is no one else doing that? That's really cool. Aside from all that stuff, it does everything that you would expect a Robovac in this day and age to do, so it cleans not only the microfiber mop pads by heating them up to 40 degrees and giving them a good old soak, but it also cleans the base station too, which is awesome. I haven't actually looked at the mop pads since since I started using this thing. So should we do that TikTok thing where where, where like where they do the R and B music and they beckon you over? It's so stupid! You're on the toilet. Well, I can't. They're not going to be able to beckon you. I don't want you here if you're on the toilet. What? What? So. There was a blue M&M &M stain on there. I, I, I might have tried to feed it M&Ms. There was, <laughs> there was a blue M&M &M stain, like here somewhere, and it's gone. That is impressive. I thought that was going to stick forever. Gone, no, well, with your bad self. Just two more things to tell you about then, and then we'll go do the carpet testing. This... I really did put this thing through its paces this week. Um, so the first thing is that it has this thing called AI Dirt. Wait a minute. AI Dirt Sense technology. And the AI Dirt Sense technology is... Uh, I, I hear about this on every Robovac and it never actually works. Here it actually works. It's kind of scanning around and if it sees a particularly dirty patch, it goes back and does it again. Or it stops over it and kind of wriggles about. It did it there. It did it there. It saw there was a little bit of a black spot on the carpet and it went and stopped on it. I'm 99% sure that's his AI doing its business. Speaking of wriggling, it also does this kind of twerking. I'm not going to twerk for you people. It twerks into the corners to get every little bit of the mop pads against the walls if you turn that option on in the settings, and I highly recommend you do, because again, this is the best I have seen any Robovac do when it comes to mopping into corners. It really is good. I'm going to make that explorer again. So fucking as do it. No. I am.
And finally, I've only seen this on one other Robovac. You can actually plumb this thing into your main's water supply and get it to take in clean water and empty out dirty water without you ever having to do anything. That's probably head explosion worthy, but I already did that, so... I'll just give you this thumbs up and hopefully animate something around me that, that expresses excitement. Amazing. <laughs> and now for the elephant in the... The elephant in the room. It eats turds and cables with reckless abandon. <laughs> I don't know how else to word it. Um, I don't want to harp on about this because, you know what I have realised recently is I don't trust my Robo Rock anyway. Even though it's really good at avoiding dog turds in my tests, I wouldn't trust it with... I mean, imagine a dog did a... I don't want to say it out loud, but... Water... Water turds. Imagine a dog did a water turd, it was not going to recognise it anyway, and I just, I wouldn't trust my Robovac to go on a schedule personally if I had a dog. I don't have a dog, so it's not a problem for me personally, but if you do have a dog and you're worried about it eating turds, it'll do that. The base station is water only, it doesn't have a dust bin that it empties the bin of the Robovac. I think this is not that big of a deal because of the size of the trap on the vacuum itself, um, and because of this compact sense technology thing that squashes everything together. I think that is probably enough for me to say I might actually replace my Robo Rock with his vacuum. I don't know why I'm doing the Doctor Evil thing. I just, I just feel like oh, I almost feel bad because I really love the Robo Rock stuff, but I think Norwell actually might be the winner now. Um, it doesn't have any quirks that actually matter to me personally, but let me continue with the quirks in case these quirks matter to you. I think the mops could do with raising a little bit higher when it comes to carpets. I do have a reasonably thick carpet, but I don't think the mops should be dragging it. It only does it like a tiny bit, and even with the mops being wet, it didn't leave enough of a residue to actually drench the carpets, it's not like it's that bad, but again, just worth considering as an area of improvement for Norwell more than anybody, I guess. There is not a single one of those little things in the carpet anywhere. Every single one of them got picked up. Well, shush, I'm talking. <laughs> Every single one of them's gone. It's brilliant. And finally, probably the biggest elephant the biggest elephant in the room. Um, it, there is no multi-floor mapping, and I think this is a huge missed opportunity because the vast majority of people in the UK live in two stories. Without the base station, it has no point of reference, and I'm hoping this is just a software thing that Narwhal can fix. If they have fixed it, if you're here from the future, I shall put a little note in the description to say that they have fixed it if that's the case, so check there to find out. This is my new favourite Robovac, not only because it's the most powerful Robovac, but because it's the most thorough Robovac that does the best mopping, and at the end of the day that's what the thing is for. I love the way it looks, it's like the most beautiful Robovac in the world, you can stick this thing in your living room and it won't look weird, because it slots all the way into its base station, and its base station is pretty. It's got controls on the top for starting and stopping it, or for telling it to wash the mop pads, or to turn the Frio mode on and off. I haven't even told you about the Frio mode, go and check their website and learn a little bit more about it, it is well worth a look, because it's ridiculously low priced right now too. This is far, far cheaper than the Robo Rock, and it's more thorough than the Robo Rock. The app has countless different modes. You can schedule the different modes for different rooms for different times with different amounts of water, and set different delays before returning to wash the mop. This is the most customizable app I have seen yet. If you can live without the multi-floor thing, this is honestly the best bang for buck Robovac on the market right now. And as usual, there are links in the description as to where you can pick one up. In the meantime, these incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon. Without them, I'd be working in a call cool centre. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I'll genuinely love you forever. I'm thanking one of my patrons every week right now, and this week is Gaz Jones. He's now actually a full-on personal friend of mine. Um, he's been there for me since right at the beginning, and he's always had these amazing words of encouragement, so thanks, Gaz. Honestly, love you, mates, even if you are a massive ding-dong most of the time. Uh, if you want to hang out, if you 
want to hang out with me, you can do that at either Facebook, uh, Instagrams, TikToks, Twitters, and Threads and Xs. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's be best friends. See you next time. So, is this the best Robovac ever made? It might be. Let's find out. By the way, I filmed all the. <laughs>